everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really, really big book haul. Um, I did not buy all of these in July. This is kind of a collective book haul. Um, some of them are books that I pre-ordered back in like March and they're finally here. They showed up on my doorstep today. Some of them were gifts and some of them were bargain buys. So I'm going to keep it very short. Titles, authors, short descriptions, things that I'm looking forward to about the book. We're not going to get into great detail because this would be a really long video and I'm not going to do that to you, but let's get started. So let's start with the things that I pre-ordered because I ordered them a while ago. So the reason I placed the order was this book, Speaking in Bones by Kathy Reichs. This is the newest book in the Bones series. If you don't know uh, what the Bones series is, it is the book series that inspired the television show Bones, which is one of my favorite television shows. So when I saw the little thing at the beginning that said this television show was inspired by a book series by Kathy Reichs, I obviously had to go figure out what that was, and so this is the newest one there are like 19 in the series it's a really long series she's been writing these for a really long time this one is from Barnes & Noble and it is a signed copy where is it there we go so I'm really excited about that most of my copies of these are mass market paperbacks so it's not gonna match but that's okay because halfway through they changed the height of the book so they don't look normal on the bookshelf anyway um, so that'll be fine. So, and in that same order, I got GCB, which stands for Good Christian Bitches. This was one of my favorite ABC television series, and I'm so sad that it only lasted one season. Kind of caused a lot of controversy. This is by Kim Gatlin. Um, it was a bargain Barnes & Noble book, and Barnes & Noble has free shipping if you spend $25. So this book almost had me to $25, and it was like, spend $6 on shipping or spend $4 and get free shipping. So I bought this one and got free shipping and got a book out of it instead of just spending my money on shipping. So another book that has been all over the internet recently, and I pre-ordered it and got it on the day that it came out, was Go Set a Watchman. I am currently reading this one. I will hopefully be finished with it through the weekend. I thought I would read it a lot faster than I have, but after reading To Kill a Mockingbird, which I read in anticipation of this one coming out, I kind of hit a reading slump. To Kill a Mockingbird is one of my favorite books, and so I have had a hard time starting this one, but I will finish this one in the next couple of days. So then I was just kind of in a book buying mood, and Barnes & Noble had a lot of really great books in their bargain section. Uh, the first one that I actually saw was Landline, the hardback for $5. I guess $5.98, $6, and then I went back three days later after I bought this one and it was like $3.99, which is crazy for the hardback, but I couldn't really say no to that because I just finished Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl and I really enjoyed it and I heard that this one was a really good book. I also really want to read Attachments, so I got this one and because of that $25 shipping thing, I found a few more things that I really wanted to read. So the next one I wanted to read was The Other Typist by Suzanne Rendell. It was also a bargain book, but the reason I picked this one up is because Keira Knightley is making a movie out of this book. So I did some more research to find out when this movie is coming out because Keira Knightley is apparently producing or directing and starring in it, and I'm really excited because I love Keira Knightley, but I can't really find out a date when the movie is coming out, which is okay. It gives me more time to read the book. Um, Google said 2014, Rotten Tomatoes said 2015, IMDb said that it is in progress. So I have no idea, but it's a Fox Searchlight movie. It's Keira Knightley. I'm sure it'll be great. And now I can read the book before the movie comes out. So I'm very excited about that. The next book I got is The Girls of Atomic City. This is the untold story of the women who helped win World War II. I really like history and I find World War II to be really fascinating. So this is all about the women that helped the war effort. So I'm just very excited to read this one and see what it's all about and see how awesome the ladies were that helped win World War II. And the last one I couldn't say no to. It was a little more expensive still a bargain book, um, but it is called The Bookstore by Deborah Myler, and I think this is just a really cute story. So basically this book is about a girl who has a scholarship to Columbia, and she meets a Manhattan boy who she really likes, but then she finds out she's pregnant, and he splits. 
And so she starts working at a bookstore and finds solace in the different people that work there. I love stories about bookshops, I love stories about New York, and so I am very, very excited to see how this one goes. So then I wandered into the local bookstore in my very small town, and they always have a really great sale section, and I found The Rosie Project. This is a book that I've wanted to read for a while. The hardback was only $6, so that's awesome. Uh, it's also apparently becoming a movie, so once again, want to read the book before the movie comes out. Then, not a bargain book, but I had heard great things about this book. Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I finished this in about 12 total hours. Not in one sitting, but it was a very, very quick read, and I already reviewed it on my blog, so I will link that down below. Uh, I love this cover. I am not a huge YA reader, but it was a good story. So the next book is Jojo Moy's The Ship of Brides. So this is about right after World War II, uh, all of the men come back from war and they start proposing to all of the women who have been waiting for them to come back from the war, and they all go on a cruise ship. And so it should be a really great read. A lot of people are reading Me Before You. I plan to read that one as well, but I really like the description on the back of this one. So I am being a little different and I'm going to start with The Ship of Brides. Another book that I have heard a lot about, mostly through BookTube, has been To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Um, once again, I'm not a huge YA reader, but I'm willing to give this one a chance because it was on sale for $4. And I think, why not? Give everything a chance. So the last novel that I have was another bargain book. It's Where Do You Go, Bernadette by Maria Simple. And I have heard so much about this. Jen Campbell, a booktuber, talked about this in one of her videos. Um, said that it was really funny, said that it was really fun to read, so I'm going to take her advice and read this. I don't really know her, but I like her channel, so I'm going to take her advice and see what this one is all about. So an online project that I really, really enjoyed looking through was 40 Days of Dating, an Experiment by Timothy Goodman and Jessica Walsh. Uh, I recommend looking at their website. I'll put it below so that you guys can find it. But this is the book that they came up with after doing their internet project. And it's just a really, really well-designed book. They wanted to see if two people could fall in love, um, if they could force love by dating for 40 days. And so each page goes through a day. Um, they each did question and answers to kind of figure out where they were. So there are pictures, a lot of typography, there are little iPhone messages. Uh, it's a paperback book, but it does have a book cover, so that's kind of cool. Basically, this is just really well designed. It's a gorgeous book. It's a really fun thing to kind of read through, and it's not something that you have to read cover to cover. You can kind of take breaks and read different days as you go. So the last two books were gifts. Um, my boyfriend's aunt saw these, I think, at a garage sale and thought that I would like them, and she picked them up for me, and I am so glad that she did because they're very, very cool. This one is actually still in the plastic, um, but it is the Gospel According to Coco Chanel, Life Lessons from the World's Most Elegant Woman. This is something I think everybody could use. I am so excited to read through this. And so then she got me this coffee table book called My Most Favorite Dress, and basically it goes through and you find different designers and they talk about which dress was their favorite and why. So this is just an absolutely gorgeous coffee table book about fashion. And I'm so excited about it because I just love flipping through it and finding different designers every time that I do. So I lied, there's one more and I didn't realize it because it's on my nook and I'm really bad about keeping track of my nook. So the cover doesn't look great on the nook, but it was $2.99 on sale, so I went ahead and bought Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I'm not a huge sci-fi person, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but I was hearing about it everywhere, and I saw the sequels listed in different bookstores as recommended reads, so since it was so cheap on the nook, I figured I would buy it and give this first one a chance, and if I like it, then I'll branch out and see what the sequels are all about. So this was my book haul. I have a lot to read, obviously, but I'm okay with that because it's summer and what better to do than read a book by the pool. If you guys have any recommendations for me or saw any of these books that you'd like to know more about, please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you so choose. Also, make sure that you check out my blog because after I read all of these, there will be a review. And I will see you all next time. Love you lots. Bye.